Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the um, uh, First Order Stormtrooper bookable figure. Um, and this is the first bookable figure I'll be reviewing. Might get more, I don't know. Um, he is missing one piece and that is that shoulder pauldron, but I just thought it doesn't really matter. Um, you can already see it on one side. So, uh, this is pretty tall. And I do not have the box for it. Threw that away. Um, but, uh, yeah. Here he is. And I guess we'll just work our way up. Uh, so showing down here. I like the way the feet look. It's a... Uh, pre-existing piece but um, it still looks nice and I really like these uh, this knee armor piece um, I really like this shaping uh, especially over here um, I just think it covers the knee well and it looks good I am having some stability issues just right now but um, I'm not the best of posing, I guess. Um, and then up here, I have him. Speaking of poses, I have him holding onto his uh, blaster with both hands. Um, but I'll take that off for a second. Uh, so then you can see the uh, chest piece better. And that is a print. And it looks very nice, um, but I believe this still is a pre-existing mold. They reuse a lot of pieces in this line, but that is totally fine because they uh, look great already. Um, they really just change up the head, which we'll look at in a uh, minute. But here is his blaster. Um, I added this little technique piece just so he could... I could get that pose out of them. Uh, I'm sure you could find one on your own, but it does come with one to hold on to the block with one hand, though. And it is uh, pretty nice looking. Uh, it has a main uh, little piece that they used in other ones. And I like the sight. Um, they do have this thing, this extra spring loader shooter sticking off of it. You can leave that off if you like, but I just keep it on there. And, um, if you, this has a working trigger, so if you pull on that, then it shoots out a spring loader shooter. It is actually upside down, so that's how it is supposed to be, but, yeah, very nice blaster. Um... So then, uh, moving on to the arms, um, I also think they did a nice job with the hands on these figures, um, and this piece commonly falls off, that's why I only have one of them that I know where it is, and um, I really like, I think this uh, these armor pieces really work out for um, stormtroopers, because they've got the black bone pieces, which, it is a little hollow on the underside, but they just don't have enough, to, uh, like sockets to put other armor pieces, uh, so I understand that, but, um, uh, but it, on the, um, real suits, they have, like, little black, um, clothing showing through the armor, um, so I think that worked out well, and, uh, let's look at this head, um, I'll just pop it off real quick, and it looks nice, um, I like the design, and, um, as a lot of people know by now, um, Lego buildable figureheads work way better for helmeted and, um, I don't know if they've made any alien or 
robotic, um, like, helmeted and robotic, um, uh, figures instead of organic ones. Maybe an alien would work well. Um, don't know that, I don't think they've made one yet, uh, for starters. But, yeah, it's a nice piece. Um, I think it was used for Phasma, too. And the back of this leg like, does not look great, I have to admit. Um, they didn't, again, they didn't have enough sockets to put any more armor pieces. But they could have like, put some pin, some in the pinholes, but they just occupied those. I don't know why. But, uh, it's... It still looks, it's still a nice figure overall, and it's got a flat piece, and then this little, like, ammo container, I think, is what that is. Uh, and you, she has some holsters, so you can, um, attach his gun right there, and then he has a spare pistol. I'm not entirely sure if I put this back together right. Um, but here it is, and, um, it, it does look nice, but I don't recognize it. Uh, it's probably trying to go for the S, um, E44C, but, um, not sure. It still looks nice, and it, um, works just fine. Just put it in the hand of the soul. A good trooper, and then you can pretend to um, shoot down some resistance scum. But um, then this piece allows you to attach it to the holster, which is just accomplished with these Technic pieces. Um, and then a pose I um, uh, found that I think looks neat is your hands like the on your back like the officers do but they haven't made an officer um in, from this one yet so like you can attach it like so then you kind of get that officer look um that's pretty famous in Star Wars um, but yeah, tell me what you think about this guy in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.